Welcome to Film Breakdowns. Today we're going to be talking about Judas and the Black Messiah. Which just won Daniel Kaluuya a uh, Best Supporting Actor uh, award at the Golden Globes. Mm, yeah. And it's a really timely film to talk about. So Yeah, it's also on HBO Max right now. So let's get into it. Judas and the Black Messiah is a film about the betrayal of Fred Hampton, played by Daniel Kaluuya, chairman of the Illinois chapter of the Black Panther Party in the late 1960s Chicago. At the hands of William O'Neill, played by Lakeith Stanfield, an FBI informant. Daniel Kaluuya and Lakeith Stanfield worked together in Get Out, mm -hmm. which was a great horror film. Everybody should see that. Judas and the Black Messiah is a film in which the villain is the lead character and who is seemingly driven entirely by earning a few extra bucks. However, the film is saved by the appropriately charming Daniel Kaluuya as the Black Panther chairman, whose goal is to create a rainbow coalition to fight against injustice. A form of a rainbow coalition of oppressed brothers and sisters of every color. Lakeith Stanfield's incredibly human performance perfectly complements Kaluuya's by allowing us to feel horror at the betrayal by the end of the film. I could not believe that Daniel Kaluuya was able to so fluently uh, repeat a lot of those speeches that mm -hmm. he did in the film. And they were historically accurate even to the point where uh, his voice sounded exactly the same. So yeah. it must have been and a lot think, of work. Yeah, and I think that's a part of what makes him so charming. Mm. And when you cast an actor that is so likable and is so charming, it makes it a lot easier to get through a film, even if the script isn't as strong. When we first see Kaluuya as Fred Hampton, he gives a fiery speech at a podium, and he's electrifying. You think the students over there are gonna be free now? Oh, they'll let you change the name of your college, or your own name, throw on a dashiki, because guess what? They still gonna drag your black ass to Vietnam to shoot a pole rice farmer get shot your damn self. After the speech ends, a young female poet approaches him and tells him that what he does on stage is in fact poetry. Thanks to Kaluuya's performance, it's unlikely the audience will disagree with her. In fact, his ability to connect with audiences in the role causes audiences at home to connect with him too. Kaluuya has already received our empathy, and that empathy translates to his character. We like Fred Hampton. That scene where uh, Fred Hampton goes to the white supremacist group's meeting, mm -hmm. uh, I really enjoyed that, not just because it was pretty funny uh, due to the dialogue, but also because it made me really like Fred Hampton, that he was so gutsy and mm -hmm. like willing to work with anyone to try to oppose police brutality. Yeah, and it's surprising, I think, what a believable scene it is. And I think that the reason for that is because we can believe that that person would have the guts enough to go in <laughs> and talk to these people yeah. to get him to join his group. In the middle of the film, Fred Hampton tries to build a rainbow coalition, a coalition of people from all race groups to oppose police brutality. He ends up attending a white supremacist group meeting to convince them to stand in solidarity with the Black Panthers. We almost got into it with a rat over a parking space. <laughs> I bet y'all babies getting the same bullshit education. <laughs> y'all paying the same taxes to get your heads whooped in by the same motherfucking pigs. Ain't that a trip? We paid in. We pay the pigs to run us off of our corners. Let me ask y'all something. If this building caught fire right now, what would y'all worry about, huh? Water and escape. If somebody would ask you, what's your culture during this fire, brother? Water. That's my culture. Well, how about your politics? Water and escape. Not only does Kaluuya's charm make this scene believable, it is also bound to make audiences feel many positive feelings towards Fred Hampton. He's gutsy, trusting, and willing to accept help from anyone regardless of their background. I read that the final scene uh, with Kaluuya and Stanfield, mm -hmm. where O'Neill is 
going to drug Hampton and Hampton's going to get killed. Mm -hmm. That scene was actually shot on the anniversary of the actual event. And the actors all said that it really helped them connect to the moment and connect to that scene. Mm -hmm. And I think Stanfield's performance really allowed us to feel sorrow for Cluia's character. Mm. Just before the climax of the film, O'Neill drugs Hampton with substances given to him by the FBI, so the FBI can raid the premises and assassinate Hampton. The emotion that Lakeith Stanfield masterfully brings into the scene is raw and powerful, and it's clear that he does not want to perform this heinous act. Viewing the electrifying, charming Kaluuya for the final time in the film, from Stanfield's point of view, we are easily able to share those emotions. Wow, it's crazy what the FBI was able to get away with in the 1960s. Mm -hmm. And also what police are able to get away with now. I know, we still have a long way to go. If you've seen Judas and the Black Messiah, what are your thoughts about the film? If you haven't, are you going to now? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.